Hello, in this video, I will tell you about some important game settings that you need to change in order to play like a professional. Let's go and take a look at these settings. When you set this option to automatic mode, your parachute will always open at a certain height, and you will descend more slowly. But if you set this option to manual mode, you can open your parachute closer to the ground, and quickly reach your enemies with your weapons. Of course, manually opening the parachute requires practice, so that you can estimate the distance and avoid hitting the ground and dying, and also avoid creating problems for your squad at the beginning of the game. If your ping is high, it is better to use the automatic option. This option is for climbing or jumping on objects. When you activate it, your character will automatically jump onto boxes or building edges without pressing the jump button and will jump off of them. However, you should turn off this option because when you don't need to jump on objects, your character will automatically jump and you may fall off the edge of the building you wanted to stay on and lose your position, or you may fall down without using head glitch and crouch and be killed by your enemy. When this option is turned on, whenever you stick to the corners of a building or wall and walk or pass by it, as you reach the corner of the building or end of the wall, you automatically turn and your direction changes. You should turn off this option because it causes problems and can get you killed in close combat and urban battles. When this option is enabled and your character finds an armor plate and you have one empty slot in your armor, it automatically equips the armor. However, if this mode is enabled when you encounter an enemy or when you want to pick up a weapon from the ground, it causes a delay of a few seconds for you compared to your opponents and can lead to your death in the fight. Therefore, I recommend that you turn off this option. To use this feature, you need to go to Control and Button Settings and put the item Throwable in Direct Mode by tapping on it. This allows you to throw throwable items without aiming using a single touch, and if you want to aim, you must hold down this button and release it to throw. This feature is excellent for using throwable items, such as throwing knives at close distance. By changing this option, you can switch between both of your weapons with just one button making it much easier and faster to change your weapons or modify your shooting mode. My recommendation is the middle option.